Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Challenge Circle of the Moon, the Naked Magician Run. I'm your host, Let's Play Princess. Is it bad that I kind of just want to stop because of all the, uh, the insane things that have happened within the past week? Like fucking Catalina and just everything. I'm kind of not in the mood to record, but I really want to finish this game. So anyway, uh, welcome to another episode of Let's Challenge, uh, Castlevania. In the last episode, we fought death, which is hilarious. Always remember that this game, you fight death, and it works. And no, I'm not going to hit the switches with a fucking magic weapon. That's stupid. I am, however, going to get to Carmilla as quickly as possible. And then we're probably going to get one-shotted by her, because she's supposed to be a level 35 or more boss, and we are level 27. <laughs> Oh god, it's bad. It's, it's gonna be very bad. But at least the frame rate is mostly doing well, which is not something that you could have said about QuickTime, Jesus Christ. QuickTime just really didn't want to, uh, to flourish at all. In fact, it just kind of wanted to die a fiery death, which is fine, because it's QuickTime, and... Seriously, why would you ever use QuickTime again besides the fact that is good for random. Sir, I'm gonna have to hit you once. That one's unavoidable. I mean, I could have killed him, but then I'd be hitting the switch like 18 times, and we'd have that laggy slowdown for every single time that I hit him. Because it would also activate the switch, and that would be stupid. But no, I, uh,. I have to admit, the, um, this is not the right way, is it? No, I don't know what this is. Okay, I know what this is, but I don't know what this is. Like, clearly, it's a, it's a vertical shaft for which to, uh, to do the thing. Oh, shit. Well, I wonder who's about to get hit. So, I... You're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> okay, let's start as any other normal day. <laughs> anyway, uh, point being... I don't know, I just kind of want to get this series done with. That's probably because I also don't want to record right now. That's neither here nor there, because the show must go on, right? But at least we got it fixed, which is good, which is actually really, really, really good. And we- oh, shit. I- I- I see? Okay, I'm gonna wait for you to toss your nuts at me. Okay, cool. You're two blue balls, but whatever. Needless to say, let's get the hell past you. You see the weird little worms of electricity and brain slush. And then she's gonna try to hit me. She's gonna fail, but she's gonna try. Um, I'm trying to think what else is new. I've restarted Kingdom Hearts, the original. And I think I said that last episode, but if I didn't, I've been going. I'm I'm going through them again on the three uh not the 360. The Xbox One, so I can have all the achievements, plus they're on Game Pass right now, and while I shouldn't be paying for Game Pass anymore because of the no-job thing, I'm still uh, subscribed to it, and I might subscribe to Kraken the Cryptic to, to do their puzzle hunt, their next Sudoku one, uh, both just for myself, to keep myself sane, and as a, as a video series. But that would probably be wrong, wouldn't it? Because that's like a... Patreon exclusive thing that they're going to be releasing that's a puzzle and then I'm going to try to solve it on my own free currently channel. And that's probably an awful thing to do, isn't it? Probably. But the thought's still there just because I love their content and I'd like to spread it out more, but probably not the puzzle hunt, huh? I should have done with the first Sudoku puzzle hunt and I might actually go back and do that since I, I finished it. 
And I mean, I guessed the answer within like the first few hours of it being out because I saw, oh, look, it's the word Dante. Oh, look, it's, you know, I think I said this in an episode or something already. Like, oh, look, the it says Inferno down the side. What's a nine-letter word that has to do with Dante and Infernos and all that? Maybe Purgatory? Purgatory? And hey, lo and behold, it was Purgatory, right? But I don't know. Uh, tell me what you think. If I should do their puzzle hunt on the channel or not, considering that it will be behind a two dollar paywall. Um then I mean what what was that even a spin-off thing of? Alright, things for the channel. Um we're not things for the channel, but you know what I mean. What's been going on? Fucking been replaying Kingdom Hearts. I can have them all on the Xbox One. Um yeah, fuck me. I didn't realize because I played it a long time ago at the ex-friend's house. Um, hashtag don't trust people, they're rapists. But fucking, you know, there's... I, I remembered the Phantom. And I never beat the Phantom boss. That's in Neverland. And I thought, oh, you know, it can't be that. Son of a bitch! Uh, I hate this game so much at times. Or I hate my life at times. God damn it. God damn it. You know what? No, it's not worth it. At this point, it's not worth it. Let's just get to the boss. Um, and let's avoid the L2 and R2 for now on because that kind of fucks us, I'm now realizing. Anyway, point being, um,. I gotta do it. go down here. Uh, point being, fucking Jesus Christ, I thought the Phantom would be easier than what it was. Especially since at level like 50 something I beat Kurt uh, Zasa, whatever the fuck its name is, and Agrabah, but Jesus Christ, that fucking stupid Phantom is the dumbest thing that has existed in Kingdom Hearts history. I hate him. I hate it. The Rock Titan? Super easy. Two shot it. By which I mean like two, two, uh, phases, and can't do anything against you, right? Besides stomp the ground, and he barely does that. But fuck me. The Phantom? Fuck you. It's, it's bullshit. Just decides to fucking kick your ass every two seconds, and it's fine. It's whatever. You gotta take it. Let's do that before I fuck up. Oh wait, that brain room was a health upgrade, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that might have been dumb. But oh well. We'll, we'll learn from our mistakes or we'll be doomed to repeat it. Over here should be the magic one, right? Yeah. I'm remembering. Well, the Wicked Witch of the whatever is just running up and down. Good old Osmeralda, whatever the hell her name is from Wicked. Ugh. Now I'm just waiting for the next issue of a Wizard of Oz themed um, webcomic I read to come out. Which now also made me want to read the original books because I never read the books growing up. Um, like, I knew there were books. I didn't know there was like 40 something or 13 or something ridiculous. It's not a bad number, but it's definitely more than I was expecting there to be, you know? I mean, I. My, my biggest introductions or things for Wizard of Oz have been Fables, because Ozma and Pinocchio shipping for the win. Um, and then also, uh,. If my brain could think for a second. Um, the movie. The original one. Not not the 1985 Return of Oz. We don't talk about that. Needless to say. 
So it was really interesting to note that there were just so many different books that were canon, and that the actual lore states that, uh, you know, Frank E. Baum, or whatever his name is, is a great historian of Oz, and Dorothy is telling him of these adventures, so that way he may write them down. That's amazing to me. I love that type of shit. It's something that you rarely see. There's one example that has recently gone in a movie that we're not going to talk about, and that's Artemis Fowl, it turns out, because uh, by the end of the last book, it's um, it's Holly telling the story. And it's always been Holly narrating these stories to somebody. Which is like, oh, sweet, cool, right? But at the same time, it's... I don't know. It kind of ruins his little... It ruins his... It kind of ruins a lot of things to me. Because the fact that they decided that this event has to happen so that way Holly can be the narrator is kind of silly. But then again, I only read like the first few books growing up. I never got past. Um, I'm trying to think what number it was. This should be the boss, shouldn't it, actually? Yeah, Jesus Christ. I, I I got to attorney code. No, I got to the fourth one, the Opal Deceit Deception. I think it's called. And then I stopped. And then s the X Men's brother, uh, a good kid named Joshua, uh, who I got into Nerdy Show surprisingly enough. He's Galled Up Junior. Um, I fucking borrowed it from him that was the lost colony and then i think that's where i ended i never got to read the laws uh the the time paradox okay so real quick i need to read statistics for her bitchiness camilla Magician mode, stay in the left door and wait for her to come to you. The bubbles usually come first, so whip them to prevent them from hitting you while you attack her. Jump up and throw three boomerangs at her when she's coming at you. We can't exactly do that. The only attack that could be problematic from the doorway is her laser. However, the beam is a dark elemental, so keep the Neptune Black Dog combo active. Uh, shouldn't be able to deplete MP, blah 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 blah. The DDS, uh, the wind wave will hit Camilla twice with one use, making it an extremely effective damage dealer. An old magician will not exhaust their supply of MP before killing Camilla. This will require some dodging and weighing, however. If you are trying to get rid of her with big bones, just keep hiding until she's going to use the laser. During that, she won't use homing bubbles, so just stay in the doorway and start spamming your bones. Repeat until she gets her shit pushed in. I can do that. Let's get that set up. She has a total of... How much health does she have? 1,500 with a strength of 650, a defense of 780,000 experience, which will put me to, I bet, level 29, I'm going to say. So, or I can reload like three seconds beforehand, and then she's going to be like, eh, Dracula's coming, my pussy's so wet for him, eh, people suck, they are awful, I'm just trying to fucking do this and that. God, just shut up. Blah, 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 blah. There. So now we can potentially not hit her. Oh, 140 for each. And taking it like a non champ. And taking it like a non champ. Yep, it's begun.
Yep. Okay, so I gotta wait for her now to come back. Which will be great. Or that. Okay. Lady, could you please? Okay. Yep. Yep. Nope. I'm trying to think of how to pull this off without getting hit by the bubbles. Besides getting hit by the bubbles. Besides getting hit by the bubbles. Which I don't want to do. Which I really don't want to do. Which I really don't want to do. So I could just miss her every single fucking time. So I could miss her every single fucking time and touch a bubble that's not even there. I mean, it was, but it wasn't to me. You know what I mean? I'm gonna wait for her to come back. Or that. Or she could decide to do the laser from there instead of going back at all. Yep. Yep. Okay. God damn. She hurts, like, a lot. There we go. That's at least some good hit. So, what I can do is not get hit by that. Or, I guess I should have, shouldn't I? I kind of just want to stay away from her and jump into a bubble that I didn't even see for some reason. Okay, I have an idea of how to do this, but it's stupid. But so far it's working. Or me. I think if I get behind her, I can do better damage to her. Or I could just be an idiot. Yeah, I, I could be a real fucking idiot, it seems. Okay, here we go. Vaguely. Vaguely. I found a way to beat the bubbles. I found a way to beat the bubbles. I found a way to not beat the bubbles. Meanwhile, my double tap still doesn't work. Fantastic. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ugh. Alright. Yep. Called it. I know. Where is she? There we go. That wasn't bad at all. Of course, now the stuff happens. Yep. Oh, God, my fucking nose won't stop. Why does she make a crow call? Or an eagle call? I just noticed that. Then we get the rock's feather. Which allows us to super jump. I might be quiet for the rest of this just because I want to get to the next area, but also because uh, of reasons. I can escape from above, can't I? That's the thing I can... Wrong button. Let's retry this. Let's retry this. Let's switch. Now let's save. And now, let's actually do this, right? <laughs> Without touching the R2 button, let's get out of here. Haha. -ha. 
There we go. This is what I want to see. Wait, what's the one that's over here? I don't remember. Or... Oh yeah, it's nothing. Alright, so now where we gotta go is the... Um... Fuck, I don't even remember. Is it above the Great Wall? Is that where I'm going? Yeah, that sounds right. What the fuck? Why? No, I'm not. No. No. Especially since I know it's not for me. No. I already have to take trash out and stuff. Which reminds me, Jesus fucking Christ... The, I swear to god, the fucking, uh, trash people are on strike or something because they aren't grabbing the trash, the, the dumpsters, at all until, like, the next day or even two days late. And it's kind of getting on my last nerve. Like, we have shit to throw away that we don't throw away because we're waiting for the dumpsters to fucking empty out. But then they don't empty out because the fucking garbage people aren't doing their goddamn fucking jobs. And, like, if you're not gonna do it, then don't work as a fucking garbage person. You know? It's kind of stupid. Oh, uh, we, we, we're on strike, whatever. Cool. Get somebody else to get the fucking trash. Oh, but we're just, we're just, we're on, like, a one-day strike. Cool. You're still deserving to be... Well, no, if you're on strike, then whatever. But they're not on strike. They're not boycotting or anything like bad conditions. It's just they're not doing their jobs. It's like, are you serious? Do get the trash. It's not that... That's your whole reason to be, you know? Did I just fall through the fucking... I swear to god, no other pedestal does that. I swear to god, no other pedestal does that. Okay, here we go. This is where I want to be. Dun, 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 so, of course, it plays Vampire Killer. Okay, fuck this. The game wants to fight me on where the fuck I'm going, so I'll just do it. Fortunately, these things can't hurt me. They can't curse me, which is fantastic, right? Ba da 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 da. So where am I going, actually? Because I should know, but I don't. I don't think I'm actually supposed to be over on this side. No, I am, because this is where the save state is. Or not the save state, but you know what I mean. Which, by the way. I mean the save room. I think it's somewhere. Is it on the other side? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's down here, right? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> can I? Can I just? Okay. Maybe maybe it was. <coughs> maybe I was supposed to go one room down instead of taking the hallway. Oh well, I fucked up. Whatever, what's the worst that could happen? Hugh kills me? He's gonna kill me anyway. He's he's more powerful than I am. God, he's like way more powerful than I am. I honestly don't expect the Hugh battle to go well. At all. Dracula? Sure. Dracula's gonna be easy, but... Oh, no, 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 no. The other one. Hugh? No, Hugh's, Hugh's gonna... Hugh's gonna destroy me. God, Hugh is gonna destroy me. Oh, God, the more I think about it, the more I realize Hugh is going to fucking destroy me. I am so happy I don't have to fight you guys at, at this point. These guys would also destroy me. 
I'm pretty sure at this point, these things would one-shot me. And I am not okay with that. <laughs> but, it's fine. I mean, what's, again, the worst that could happen, you know? Ugh. God, can I at least have a save point, please? Is it this? No, this is the room with the devil in it! Right! Another character that would most likely one-shot me. And this is a warp room. And then, after the warp room is... a save state? Or is it just the boss? If it's just the boss, we might have a, a teeny tiny problem. Oh, we have a... It's a little bit more than teeny tiny, but it's a problem. So I guess I have to take the warp room to get a save, pot, uh, save state going. Oh god, I remember this. Having to, uh... Go back to the, the hallway area that you fought the necromancer in. Is this the closest... No, okay. I see it. There we go. Oh, this is the way I'm thinking. Okay, nope, yep. Yep. I gotta admit, I'm, I'm not okay with what's about to happen. I mean, I have to be, but I'm not. It's not gonna go well. So next time on Let's Challenge Castle, uh, Castlevania Circle of the Moon, the Naked Magician run, I'm going to finish this game. And I'm going to realize that Hugh is going to be the worst battle. Dragula is going to be easy. Dragula is going to be so fucking easy, but Hugh is just going to destroy us. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw or not. Tell me in the comments. I know these last two videos have been ex or three videos have been extremely lackluster, and I apologize. Patreon link is in the description below, and it helps immensely these days. I'm a Let's Play Princess, and I'm signing off. Peace and love to you all.